Hi everyone, I'm Wilsonator and welcome back to RimWorld. That's right, once again, it's been a little while. I apologize, I'm still not feeling great. Uh, I'm trying to get around to recording when, when I can. Uh, also, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you guys had a great uh, time over the holidays if you celebrate. And uh, if, if you don't celebrate, also, I hope you had a good time anyway uh, during, during that period. Uh, but yeah, we are back in Comgatro Oasis. Patonus is hard at work making some pants. Uh, good stuff, Patonus. Jess is telling Crow to eat hearty, which he is doing. Also, did we mention that these meals are fixed? I fixed them. I can't remember if they were fixed last time, but they are they are fixed. Also, the best seasoning for food is hunger. Yes, Crow, it is. Also, uh, yeah, we made Crow this really badass uh, helmet last time, which is great. We also... Uh, got to work building some little huts for these guys, including Crow's really nice hut with two statues. We've got uh, a statue of uh, an elephant brutally killing Kerr Kastenberg, the legendary Viking. And we have a smuggler sitting on a table surrounded by gunsmiths. Crow has a pretty interesting room. Uh, it's slightly impressive. He's kind of happy with it, but we might have to make it better for him because Crow is uh, becoming a little bit of a diva. Uh, he got the greedy trait now, and he's also a freeholder. He's a grand chief. All in all, he needs a lot to, to kind of keep him happy, which, you know, it's fine. We want to keep this guy happy because he's by far the best guy we have. Everyone else kind of sucks. Jess was good, but then he uh, he did lose uh, an arm, and uh, so he's he's like 50% as good. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, Potonis is, I guess, our newest no, I don't think Patonus is our... Is Patonus our newest? I think Al is our newest. We should kind of, like, order them by by that, right? Sorry, Al, if you were here before Patonus. I can't really remember, uh, but you're you're now being moved to there. Uh, also, yeah, we uh, we have Stork here, who is currently being enslaved. She she joined us, and she betrayed us promptly. So uh, we were like, you know what? We're not going to actually try and recruit you. We're just going to uh, enslave you instead. But such is, such is the way of our own world. Uh, so yeah, what we want to try and do today, um, I'd like to finish this wall primarily. That's like prime objective number one, finish the wall. I would also like to kind of finish up these houses, make sure everyone's got a bed inside of a house. Uh, that'd be nice. Maybe get a bit more of this research done. We've kind of stagnated on this. Uh, so that's not ideal. How are we doing for mining steel? We're mining steel. Protonus is uh, doing that, but she's currently making pants. Uh, how are we doing for wood then? We got loads. Why are we not building this wall? Oh, we are. Uh, slowly. Crow is doing it, but he's all by himself. We did have, uh, this stork prisoner. She is also on construction. So if we can enslave her, then, uh, we can get her back on that as well to help out good old Crow here. Because he's got a long way to walk, uh, to build this stuff. I'm just saying, it's, it's kind of nuts. What the fuck was that? You hear that? Like a monkey? I honestly don't know. What is uh Tanya doing here? Shooting archery? Okay, she's doing recreation. Anything else, Tanya? No. Drinking psychic tea. Yeah, she's taking some drugs. Cleaning. And now she's sleeping. Okay. You know what? Fine. Fine. But I would like you to maybe get back on research. I just want to just see what she's actually doing. Oh, she's cooking. Okay. That's why. Uh, what are you doing, Al? You can cook. Uh, I I think Al should be the one cooking, Tanya. Get back to researching, okay? I feel like it's kind of important. We want to... Yeah, there you go. Good good, good job. And that should be Al. Yeah, Al is on the old cooking. Is Al on the cooking? Where are you? Al? Yeah, she is. Slowly but surely, I think. Maybe. Oh, no, she... Yeah, she's thinking about it. There we go. Good stuff, Al. Stork! Oh! Stork has been enslaved by... Okay, I haven't ever taken a slave in this game, believe it or not. Slave. Suppression. Suppression is a psychological effect of fear and control in a slave. If suppression is low, they're more likely to rebel. Okay. Uh, wardens will periodically intimidate the slave to increase their suppression level and reduce the chance of rebellion. I believe if you can get one of these uh, skull spike things, they also help with it, right? Gibbet cages as well. Well, we don't have any skulls currently, so uh, maybe that's something we'll have to start doing to intimidate, stalk the, the, uh, the slave. Do we want to give the slaves uh, actual beds? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it matters, right? Who cares if she's unhappy? She She's not one of us. I mean, she could just sleep in 
in here, right? Uh, not for guests. It's for slaves. There you go, Stork. You've got a bed. Be thankful, okay? You're basically one of us. It's just that we don't really like you that much. So, uh, unfortunately for you, you are uh, a slave. But you can also, yeah, you can ride the elephant. Oh, look, we do have some corpses here. Let's uh, do a bit of skull extraction, why don't we? This is going to sound really fucking horrible, but I feel like it might actually be a good thing to do. Let's just put them right next to her bed. <laughs> uh, Crow, do the honors. In fact, Stork, also do the honors. <laughs> Build the skull spike for yourself. There we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Righteous. Righteous fear. Tanya is researching slowly but surely. Uh, man, what do we, we need to research some better stuff, right? Um, I'm researching, like, shit, basically. I wanted to say, I, I kind of want to get towards, uh... Oh, yeah, we're trying to get gunpowder. Real, I mean, gunpowder is probably more important than farming techniques. Go for go all in on gunpowder after we do meat smoking. What else is there here? Anything artful display? Statues. Accurate character-shaped sculptures inscribed with art. So we can make statues of our characters. I feel like we want art. Do these props actually help with that? Oh, fuck. I, uh, I want to finish meat smoking. Try for the props. I, I want to check if the props actually help for... Because uh, I, I, we want to like increase the moods. And having like decorative stuff helps a lot, actually, with that. Maybe we want to get a little bit more uh, artwork. Statue. Oh, we can make a statue of a colonist anyway. Large, huge statue. Crow? My friend. I mean, we'd probably want to build out of like, you know. Do we have uh, any marble, actually? Stone cutting table. So we want to make marble. As much marble as we can forever. We're going to make a giant marble statue of uh, Crow. It's going to be glorious. We're going to get like right in the town square. Is this going to be where like the town square is? We need like a, like a market. Like, like a, just basically like a center of town, right? So probably, yeah, probably like around here. Maybe we can like incorporate this little pond into it. When we start, like, paving this area and making it, like, more medieval, uh, we're going to want to to probably cover up some of this water. It means that raiders can destroy it, the bridges, but I doubt they really are going to be that bothered about that, you know? There's more more wealthy things to destroy. Well, the wall is coming along pretty fucking good, I have to be honest. Low food. Really? Oh, shit. We're not growing anything. Guys! Uh, Tanya, what are you... Oh, Tanya is our grower and she's on research. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it was me that forced you to do that. Uh, go, go plant. Uh, no, nope, she wants to go and play a game. There should be loads of fruit though, right? When we first came here, we got loads of fruit. I would assume that that stuff's all probably grabbable again. We might have to actually go back to eating some... We might have to forage for our food for a little bit here while we wait for stuff to grow. I wasn't really keeping an eye on our food situation. Uh, there's a bunch of peach trees. Uh, harvest those. And what else? It's this agave. Is that, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but there's loads of that. Loads of it. Oh, oh my god. The lion just killed a hyena. Um, speaking of which, we might want to probably kill some of these things. Crow, I think you'll be fine, but I want you to kill this lion while it's here. Before it tries to kill us, okay? I hope we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Crow, crow is too much of a badass to die to a, a lion. I feel kind of bad about this, but we want to just deal with these predators before they attack our more vulnerable colonists. At least Crow can handle them, right? And we might be able to also cook them too, which would be good. Slave rebellion like... Oh, fuck. It's expected to happen once every 12 days. Well, she is missing a leg. I just realized that, so that should be fine, right? I don't think we have any problems with that. Uh, once she rebels, we'll just uh, chop off her other leg, I guess, and that'll be the end of her. Uh, Crow, you good, my friend? Come on. There you go. Good stuff, man. I say it, like, constantly, but Crow is just such a beast. Tanya, what the fuck have you been doing? Hello? I put her back on growing, and she's not sown any plants. I, I would have assumed that she was harvesting fruit, but I don't see any fruit here. Wait, what are you doing now, Tanya? Sewing area. Okay, she's doing it. Royal tribute collector. Can we give away uh, the slave? <laughs> I don't want to rebel on us like this, but maybe she will. 
Uh, I don't think we have a tribute. Are we part of the Empire? I mean, yeah, we are, actually, technically. Uh, Crow? Let's go take a look. See what see what they we can give them. Uh, we might as well give tribute, right? Oh, we can give them stalk. You know what? She's about to rebel anyway. So, bye. And we'll give away our gold as well. You know what? Getting our colony wealth down a little bit might be a good thing. Whoa. Wait, what, we got silver for that? No, we didn't. They, they didn't give us anything. It was, tr it was tribute. I know that we just got rid of a capable builder, but I want to have good relations with the old uh, Exodus Empire. I don't want to have to suffer a slave rebellion. So getting rid of stalk was probably the best move for us uh sorry stalk uh we never really liked you in the first place and you know what it might be better for you here maybe they won't maybe they won't keep you as a slave maybe they'll just either you know release you or or put you down like the dog that you are we're going to do our combative celebration here all right guys it's time i know you want to go to sleep but let's have a holiday do 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 the party is beginning look at this even Jerry the tortoise is here, joining in the conversation. Hey, Al, is there anything I can eat around here? Actually, I don't think there is, uh, Jess. No, there is. There's some meals. Wow. Unforgettable. And we've got a wanderer joining. Oh, my God. Plus eight mood for six days. What a great one. Reform ideal. We could reform our ideology. Add a meme. Remove a meme. Change the structure. Change the stuff. We can add new stuff to our religion. Anything we want, we could add. Wow, that's a big decision to make. I mean, i got to be honest, blood court. Our leader should be a talented melee fighter and a brutal warrior, only usurped by one greater. Bloodshed, corpses, scars are a part of life and a show of strength on this planet. i got to be honest with you, blood court kind of feels like it might be almost befitting of our... Uh, with Crow being our leader, because he is the, the greatest... Uh, you know what? We're doing it. Blood court. Oh, God. Oh, well, no. We can't have the Duel of Champions anymore if we go for Blood Court. I think I added it using Debug anyway because for some reason it didn't let us add it even though we have Gladiator as a precept. So I, I think I'll just re-add it using the Debug thing because it was kind of just an RP thing anyway to have Gladiator duels. Wait, we can add more precepts. Leader, best fighter. Oh my God, we can. We can add like any precepts we want by the looks of it. Crafting speed quality increased i'll take it this this stuff feels a bit like almost like overpowered right art production speed increased how many can you add when you reform your can you just add any you want let's go for low expectations uh because that means their overall mood the moods are so bad because these guys expect so much we're literally living in the mud essentially so yeah low expectations make sense okay that, that's doing it i don't want to overdo this so I think I'm fine with that. And Jess's sister, Richter, wants to join. Yes. Hello? Jess's sister, Richter. Uh, what? How are you? Uh, are you good at anything? Kind of good at melee, actually. Anything else? Animals? Not bad at crafting. Hard worker. That's always good. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Richter, you, you're going to be our new crafter. Yeah. And Petonis, you are going to be our miner. I want you toiling away in the mines 24-7, okay? Petonis, pull that rice urgently, guys. What the fuck are you doing, Tanya? Why are you cooking? No, Al, what are you doing? If you're just... Uh, no, no. Tanya, you're not allowed to cook anymore, okay? I need you to go and grow some food. That's why it's a priority task. Stop. Please stop. Please, I beg you. Well, Rick, I know you've just joined, but here you go. You now have a very important role within our community. You are now the shaman. And as such, we're going to have to make your hood and a cape. Well, Richter, once you get your, your special clothes, we can actually get you on uh, conversion duty and try and make some of these guys into uh, the right religion. We don't want these. We don't want to have multiple religions in our colony, eh? Like, we don't do that here. We're, we're all about having just gladiator people uh it's gonna be great oh. oh no are you kidding me well that might be just the end of us uh i'm not gonna lie it's a mechanoid cluster 
Uh, these things are extremely high tech. They're robots, basically. Like, really, really advanced robots that can kill us very easily. Is that the only ones there is? I think it's just that, right? It's just over those guys over there. At least they landed on the other side of the map. Uh, I'm worried about Crow because he has to build this wall. He's, like, he's right there. And this, this thing, it's not even deployed yet. Look, look they're sleeping. It's dormant. I don't know what that means. Does it mean if we get too close to it, it like... Psychic suppressor. It, it's an architect device that generates a massive psychic suppression field to into a particular gender. Um, I mean, that's fine. We're not doing any psychic stuff anyway. I think it's fine. If it's dormant, it means it won't wake up until we attack it, right? I have to be entirely honest with you. I've only ever dealt with mechanoids once in like my own, like just a random playthrough that I, I did once. And it was only once and I got wrecked by them. So I'm kind of scared. And that was with guns. Uh, right now we have Crow with a cool axe. Jess with a tribal axe. Tanya does have a shotgun with two bullets. Uh, but we picked that up. Uh, Petonus has a concrete bearded axe. And, uh... Richter has a wooden hatchet. So, all in all, not really that good. Richter, why don't you do me a favor and... Might as well just grab the excellent wooded bearded axe. Or the excellent concrete hatchet. Probably a bit better than what you got, right? And... Battle animals. Cave bears. They joined the colony. All by themselves. Where? Oh, hello. Oh my god, they're fucking huge. Look at the size of these chonkers. Oh lord. Can we ride these guys into battle? No way. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, no more battle elephants. Now we have battle cave bears. <laughs> They're not quite trained to attack yet. Luckily, we just got uh, Richter, who's good with animals. So, Richter, welcome to your new job. I'm getting kind of annoyed with Tanya because I'm not being funny. She's just growing heel root. Can I prioritize this instead? I believe I do have this, yes. Critical. Food is critically important, Tanya. So please stop doing what you're doing and go and grow it. Also, we're going to just uh, kind of expand this area a little bit. We're going to grow a little bit more rice, I think, now that we have more people. Yeah, I mean, i got to be honest. I think riding cave bears is almost better than riding elephants. Also, look at all of these, uh, these bulls. Wow. Weather controller for pay. Um... Moral boss of the Dark Daggers is asking for your help. Her enemies have been harassing her settlements. She wants your help using signals to draw them towards Kumgatro Oasis. Uh, it will force the whole region into a rainy thunderstorm and nine man-hunting hares are wandering nearby. The site will remain active until you go and destroy it. What is that? Prestige recon armor? A suit of light, partially powered armor designed to permit quick movement. Uh, plastic weave plates block attacks without compromising mobility. I gotta be honest. Yes. Yes, yes. Crow needs that. Welcome to your new armor. Oh, God. There's gonna be fires for a little while here, guys. Where, wear it. Wear it, Crow. Uh, well, good thing is uh, it is a rainy thunderstorm, so these fires will go out pretty quick by themselves. We're going to have to send Crow then, I guess, on a little journey to go and uh, shut down this weather controller. All right, Crow. There is there going to be a whole bunch of uh, manhunters. Yeah, they're coming. Look at that. Uh, I think you'll be fine, honestly. It's just a bunch of rabbits. Now we get to see this cool armor. Let's see what it does. See how good this armor is. All right, Crow. It's, it's going to be a work of art, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, bro, he look at him. He's just parrying all of it. Holy. I'm surprised that he's not killed them that quickly. But he hasn't. He took one bit of damage. Only a little bit. These rabbits are actually surprisingly uh, good at what they do. All right. Sweet. Good shit, Crow. Uh, why don't you go and uh, I guess it's inside here. Okay, yeah, that is extremely high tech. Why? Can I just ask, why was there a bunch of rabbits guarding this fucking thing? Look at it. So I guess because it's gone, we just have to wait now for the weather to change, but it won't be permanent anymore. 
Uh, are we good? Cro uh, Crow is sleeping here. Crow, you can sleep on the road, my friend. All right, he's back. Uh oh. Uh, what? Oh no, the fire! All right, don't worry about it. They can't move. I think we'll be fine. But we need to go over there and deal with it. They've woke up. Look. That's not good. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with it. These slugger turrets range 55 maximum range of this weapon. Oh wow. Oh, okay. I was looking at that. That's a minimum range. Oh, it's a lot further than I thought. We're gonna have to somehow get close to this without getting killed. Uh, this is gonna be rough. Oh wow. 50% conscious. Oh. Oh shit. Ah, I didn't realize the the psychic suppressor i thought it just suppressed psychic powers it actually fucks up their consciousness look at that all of the men in the colony are getting fucked by this thing right now i mean we could like stand behind this and they should all be like shooting at it right we could get it to destroy itself there's nothing on this side tell you what uh crow get some rest um and i'll tell you what come morning you are going on your own to hopefully at least deal with this psychic suppressor. See, if we get to this, look. Check this out. I don't think they'll be able to... Sh oh my god, Crow. Fuck my life. They fire fast. Uh, they don't... Oh no, it can shoot... Fuck, I thought that it would block it. Okay, Crow, go back. Go back. Actually, just finish. Go over here. Go over here. Oh my god, Crow. His armor is holding up. He hasn't taken any damage somehow. How is his armor doing, though? Is it like... Oh, God, 86%. Wow, it is beating away his armor, though. The problem is, because we're only 50% conscious, we're really low on movement, too. It's affected by the consciousness thing. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Jess isn't here yet. I wanted Jess to be over here as almost like a distraction. I'm just worried, that because if Jess gets shot, he's fucked, I think. I don't think he has any... any he hasn't got any protection against this stuff. Crow does, because that armor that he just got. Jess, careful. Oh, God. Okay, you're fine. Bro, he's so slow, man. Look at this. He's even slower because... Oh, he got hit. 10 without medicine. Just bandage up that wound. Jess, just run up like this way where they hopefully can't see you. Yeah? You're not going to get close. You don't have enough uh, melee. Oh, God. Oh, God, Jess. Jess! No, go that way. Go... Uh, Jess, go, go that way. Fuck. Jess, get behind cover. Okay. Oh, okay, Crow, you are well within... Uh, the line of sight. Holy fuck, it's shredding it. These walls are not holding up. I don't think we can do this. There's no way we can get close to this. We've seen how fast they fire, right? I mean, I don't think we can do this. I think we need to maybe go for the whole, uh, maybe just ignore it approach and come back when we have better weapons. Uh, because this is just a bit beyond us. Be, be careful. We might not even. Ah, oh, crow. Oh, crow. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's fucked. Crow! Run! Oh, he lost an ear. He lost a fucking ear. Okay, so now these guys, we're going to basically say you're not allowed in that area at all. Yeah, so for now, the wall is a bit scuffed. Um, I built it like this now, so it kind of goes up like here. Just we want, We still want this wall to cover the bottom of the map here. Oh, man, this is really going to be a real setback on us. Why are we getting mechanoids exactly? We What What do we do to deserve that? Mech cluster came in here. What happened? Why did we get so much wealth? We need to sell some stuff, like, get uh, or just, de just de fucking destroy some stuff. Um, fuck, we need some sort of, like, siege weapons, maybe, is what we'll need to start researching once we finish meat smoking here. Uh, Tanya, where are you? You're in here. I'm going to need you to get... Just, you know what? Finish that research real quick. We can get a catapult and a ballista. Well, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to get siege weapons to try and deal with these things. So, um, for now, yeah, Tanya... Oh, fuck. Petonis has an infection. Uh, Tanya's already on it. Yeah, that's that psychic uh, suppressor. We need to get rid of this, like, kind of ASAP. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be honest with you. We've planted enough food here that Tanya, I'm going to get you back on research. 
We don't need to worry as much about the turrets. The turrets are annoying, but this is the thing that needs to go because this is like all of the men in the colony have 50% consciousness permanently with that there. Jess has got a mental break risk coming up. Uh, Get up and eat something then. Oh, are we out of food? We are. We have no food at all. Literally none. What the... Uh, we could go kill these bulls, I guess. That's food. Uh, Crow. I think he'll be fine with that epic armor that he's got, but we'll just make sure. Okay, that's good. Oh, it's attacking back. Oh my god, they're all coming. Crow, run! Oh my god, Crow. Oh my fuck. Ugh! What are you doing? He f uh, knocked down. He can't get up. He's literally fucked. Uh, he's not able to fight back because of this. Ah, uh, that's not good. They're they're trying to kill Crow. Uh, Tanya, where are you with that shotgun? All we need to do is draw them away from Crow so that he can get up. I didn't think uh, Jim, help. Okay, he's downed. Uh, at least they're not gonna fucking finish him now. They're coming. Okay, they're coming big time. Uh, Al, do not go out there, actually. Bad idea. We've got a bunch of angry cows. Oh, he's back up. Uh, Crow. Uh-oh, they're coming back. They're coming back. Tanya, hold the line. Give him time. Give him a bit of time here just to get into the doorway. Oh, God. Tanya! Oh, fuck. Run. Run. That's enough. That's enough. Good, good, good. Okay, as long as he can hold the doorway, he's fine. Look, fucking... Okay, Crow. You can probably deal with them one at a time. I know you're hurt, but... Are they still coming around? Okay, there is one coming around. Jess is on his way down. Uh, okay, that's way better, Crow. Way better. You know what? I don't really blame... Tanya, what the fuck's wrong with you? It's fine. It's Crow's got this. And the elephant is coming... At... It's... Oh my god, Barry the elephant is helping, I think. Yes, he is. He The elephant's helping. Thank fuck. We just need to make sure that he... Okay, he's got incoming from the side. This is where we've got a bit of a problem. Tanya, come back. And sh oh, we haven't got any ammo left. Uh, Jess is so slow. Oh my, he's all the way up there. Might be a problem. Might be a problem here. Yeah, look at this. There's only two of them able to attack him at a time, though. It's better than it was. Oh, he's knocked down again. Fuck! Al! Okay, Al, I know you're not... I know you don't have a weapon, but just attack it. Fucking punch it or something. Try and draw its attention to you. Okay, better, better. That's fine. All right, Crow. Uh, back to that. Get that cow. Oh! Oh, he's downed! Jess! You slow bitch! What the fuck? I'll draw that beast away. Yeah, just tell you what. Go in a big circle, okay? We need someone who's actually faster to rescue Crow here. Al's doing pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised. I don't think she had it in her, but... Uh, all the same, Richter is on her way. So we might be okay. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll handle it. Make sure you finish it off. Um, And all the rest of them, too, please. Make sure that... Is it, if there's any more that are alive, yeah, finish that one. And also any other ones that are there. We need to make sure they're all dead. Wow, uh, Crow lost an eye uh, there. He also lost an ear to the mechanoid cluster as well. I, I, I did notice that when he was getting... Man, Crow has got a lot of scars coming along here. Dangerously low on food. Yeah, I know. We're, we're all starving to death at this point. Man, I I, don't, I can't believe I let it get to this point. It's it, You know whose fault it is? It's Tanya's fault. She wasn't growing any food. There was plenty of time for her to sow these... these look, she's still not even finished it. I mean, she is on research again now. Because we're trying to research the seed... And Billy has the plague. Of Okay, yeah, Billy. Uh, you know what? You're the last of these pack animals. I honestly, at this point, don't give a shit. I don't even care. Uh, the, the last one, Ben, wandered too close to the sun. And now he's dead over here. He, lo he literally wandered up to this psychic suppressor. Uh, and, and he died. Crow's high Crow is also breaking down. Wow. Uh, things really took a turn for the worst here, huh? You know what? I was actually thinking halfway through this, I was thinking, wow, this is going surprisingly well. We haven't had a raid. We haven't had any problems. We were just happily, you know, building the wall, uh, building a house, building a statue of Crow, making clothes, everything like that. It was great. Having a great time. And then, of course, 
mechanoids decided to show up and uh, just chat all over everything we were doing. And since then, it's just been a clusterfuck, really. So, wow. Uh, at least Crow got some cool armor out of it. So that's something. And we haven't lost anyone. So that's also good. I expected one of us to die there with the, the cows. The fucking cows nearly killed Crow. I can't believe that. Everything he survived, he nearly got killed by a bunch of cows, such as the way of Rimworld. And, uh, yeah, once again, I do apologize uh, for how long there's been between these videos. I am not feeling great at all at the moment. Even right now, I'm kind of struggling. I just want to assure people that I am planning to keep this series going for as long as possible. Uh, I would like to reach the end game of Rimworld, like where we actually escape with these guys. Um... Or until the colony is completely wiped out. Hopefully, that doesn't happen soon. Uh, but it might. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Look at this shit. Anyway, yeah. I think we're going to finish there. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.